All right, guys, so just back with this Ampere Time 100 amp hour battery to recharge this uh, EcoFlow Delta 2 power station. I already did do a another uh, test for this type of recharging method, you know, to use a uh, deep cycle battery such as that Ampere Time one as a expandable battery uh, for the Delta 2. However, for that for that video, I got a few people telling me to just use a direct connection inst instead of using an inverter. And so that's exactly what I'm doing in this video because I think using an inverter made the capacity efficiency, you know, from the battery through the inverter to the power station, like it less efficient basically. So yeah, what I did was I got this um, O-ring to XT60 cable off of Amazon, which is a lot cheaper. And, you know, I think this should make the battery capacity efficiency from the Ampere Time battery over to, over to the Delta II power station. A lot more efficient and uh so yeah i mean this is pretty cool to see that it worked when i when i did get it get it connected and um and over on the recharge speed however i mean i've got a 102 watt input speed so i mean that is a bit of a disappointment because i think with the inverter test i got a 300 watt input speed but you know what this is pretty nice i gotta say this is like really convenient because all you need is just the cable, the battery, and the power station, and that's it. You don't need an inverter. Um, so, I mean, thank you for the people that told me to do this type of test, I suppose. And so, uh, for this test, I did recharge the Ampere Time battery back to full power, and I did discharge the Delta II power station down to 0%. And so, for this test, I want to see how much better the battery capacity efficiency is, because for the original test, I was able to get a one full recharge for the Delta II, plus a 23% uh, charge. So um, I'm hoping for this test, I get a full recharge um, and more than a 23% 23, 23 charge for the Delta II power station. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm just gonna let it recharge back to full power and then I'm gonna discharge the Delta II again down to 0%. And I'm gonna have it recharged from the Ampere Time battery again using this direct connection method. And we're just gonna see what happens really. Uh, this, this is a pretty cool thing to do. Um, I'm, I'm really happy that it worked. Uh, and yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll be right back you guys. All right. Uh, all right, you guys. So just back with the Delta two power station, um, fully recharged from the Ampere time battery using this direct connection method. Um, and let me just go ahead and fully discharge the Delta two power station down to 0%. And I'm going to come back and, uh, recharge it again, using this Ampere time battery direct connection method, just to see how much more capacity I'm able to pull from the Ampere time battery over to the Delta two. And uh, so yeah, I'll be back with the Delta 2 at 0% so we can run the test one more time. Uh, Alright you guys, so just back with the Delta 2 power station, I did fully dis discharge it down to 0%. And I'm just back uh, recharging it uh, using this uh, direct connection you know, with the uh, Ampere Time battery. And so yeah, I'm just going to come back when the Ampere Time battery is fully, fully discharged of its capacity to see how much more capacity we were able to pull out from it using this uh, direct connection uh, recharging method. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Uh, all right, you guys, so the Ampere Time battery is fully discharged. Uh, basically, it's at 0%. And uh, yeah, I was able to get 52% more out of the Ampere Time battery over to the Delta II power station. And, you know, this is actually better than the inverter test that I ran about a month ago, you know, which had the um, second charge get like 20, 23%. But in this case, with this uh, direct connection from the Ampere Time battery to the Delta II power station, I was able to get 52%, you know, 23% to 52%. That's a pretty big jump in my opinion. It would actually make more sense to have a deep cycle battery like this one, like this Ampere Time one, um, instead of having EcoFlow's, um, you know, proprietary expandable battery that you would connect into this port right over here. Um, you know, the, the EcoFlow's expandable battery for the Delta II for the Delta II power station has a 1,024 watt hour capacity. You know, this uh, Ampere Time battery or other uh, 12 volt, 100 amp hour batteries have a 1,280 watt hour capacity, which is higher. These are cheaper as well. When you're using a direct connection method like this, uh, you know, you just have the cost of the battery, the cable and a battery charger to recharge the battery with. So the most you're gonna be spending is about like what 400 I, I would say um you don't have to go with this amper time battery I'm, I'm not recommending that oh you have to go with amper time i've also done a review for the uh, rododo 100 amp hour battery and a power urus battery that that's actually bluetooth compatible that was actually a pretty neat review that i did in case you want to take a look at those reviews those um, are linked down in the description below 
But uh, I mean, yeah, there we go. This direct connection method was actually better. It's cheaper as well. You don't need an inverter in this case. However, the only downside that I ran into is that the uh, recharging for the Delta 2 from the battery using this direct connection method is only 100 watts. I don't know why. I don't know if I was able to make it faster or not. Um, not, I'm not too like, you know, savvy with this stuff, but you know, this was just a pretty cheap cable and I just thought, why not run the test? Um, and yeah, there we, there we go. Uh, you don't need an inverter. This is going to be a cheaper, expandable battery option for the Delta II power station. And uh, there we go. I will see you all in the next video. All right, goodbye.